Hey guys, it is Saturday morning here in the Philippines, so it is time for us to do our free for all weekend video. And today we're looking at some 80s GM muscle cars, focusing on the G bodies, which is their mid sized platform from the 80s for Buick, Oldsmobile, Pontiac, and Chevy. Um, We've done videos on these in the past. I actually, about a year ago to date, I did a G-Body video, one of my first videos. Uh, but the collection has grown a little bit, and uh, I wanted to kind of merge all of them together in one video, because most of these you've seen, we've unboxed together and stuff, but just wanted to bring them all out and show you again in one video. So, I have the six best ones in front of me here. Actually, I guess I can't say they're the best ones, but they're six of my favorites. Um, and we have the Olds 442, well, this one's the Hearst Olds. Then you have a Buick T-Type, the GNX Grand National, the regular Grand National, the Monty SS, and an El Camino. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have any Malibus to bring out. I think I got rid of my JL Malibu. They do make a nice 1981 Malibu, uh, but I seem to have gotten rid of mine. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, one that we don't have to show you, but I do have the El Camino, so let's go ahead and take a look at him. This is your Hot Wheels RLC Real Riders El Camino. We unboxed this a few months ago. Um, this is a really, really nice piece. One of my favorites. Actually, it is my favorite release of the ADL Camino. Followed by the Super Treasure Hunt one. But this, by far, I love the wheel choice and the red line tires. The black Spectre Flame Chrome with your ghosted in flames on the hood. Your racing SS stripes on the cowl induction scoop. The detailed grille, headlights, and turn signals. Very, very nicely done. The bow ties kind of ghosted into the flames, or not in the flames, but in the stripes um, on the tailgate, so it looks really cool. Nice tail light detail in the bumper, your exhaust tips. Very nicely done car. Uh, then, next on the list is the Monte Carlo SS. What would a G-Body video be without a Monty SS? And this is probably the most sought after, most popular paint scheme. And this is an 86, so it has the more popular, nicer wheels. And uh, the black with the red stripes and the red Monty SS on the door. The red burgundy interior. This is probably the most common color combination that we've seen from the 80s. And Johnny Lightning did a nice job on this. <clears throat> this is one of their older releases, uh, so it's not one of the newer ones. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of the newer ones yet. This is one that I've had since, I think, 2004 when it came out. Uh, this is one that kind of I held on to throughout the years, uh, even when I got out of collecting, just because I've been a G-Body fan. And uh, really nice casting by Johnny Lightning. But as usual, Johnny Lightning sometimes has paint defects, as we can see here. That's actually a touch-up by me, but what happened, the paint actually started peeling off the door. I don't know what happened, if the metal was uh, contaminated, and it just started peeling off. So it touched it up a little bit there, but did a lousy job with it. But eh, not too bad in certain lights, you can't even see it. So they had to... Display is nice in the display case because I have it usually like this. So, hey, no big deal. And then here's another one I've had for a while. This is also a release from back in the early 2000s from JL. Uh, this is actually JL <clears throat> merged with uh, Racing Champions for RC2 back in the early 2000s. And they took the Racing Champions casting and made it their own but they did away with the side mirrors the uh, racing champions had the side mirrors they eliminated it and they started using the casting from racing champions but marked it johnny lightning uh so this is your plastic wheel model this is from i think muscle cars usa something like that um but it's a very very nice version of the grand national so very nice, very 
true to scale. Their first rendition of the Grey National is not so nice. The original Johnny Lightning, which you'll see that one available nowadays because what they're doing, they're packaging the this casting and RC packaging, Racing Champions packaging, and then they brought back that really bad casting, their first release Grey National, and they're packaging it as a um, Johnny Lightning. But if you look at the base of them, they all say Johnny Lightning. So, now for a GNX. This is the best GNX I have seen done by anyone. And this is by Hot Wheels. This is their newest release. They got the fender gills right. Even the fender wheel openings look like they're flared a little bit. Could use better wheels, but this was made to look like the Fast and Furious car from, uh, I think it's F6 for Dom. So they did a pretty good job with the wheels. Uh, they made it look just like they should from the movie. But if they were going for a stock look, it would look better if it had the BBS or honeycomb style wheels that McLaren put on it when they did the GNX updates. But the fender flares, the gills and the fenders, everything looks pretty good. Um, nice front end detail with the marker lights, headlights, the grill, Grand National plate, the tail lights. They did a fantastic job on this car. So this is one that I will say is one of the nicest Grand Nationals out there and it is by Hot Wheels. So there's that one. And then I have the white version of it too. Actually, we're going to jump around a little bit here, guys. So here's your white version of that. That looks really good too. It's like an albino GNX, which they never made. So this would have been a T-type with GNX gills put on the fenders because every Grand National was black, except for the first one in 82. It was black and silver. But the GNXs, they were all black. Um... You could custom paint yours, of course, but from the factory, from McLaren, they were all black. So, this would be like a T-type with Grand National Gills. Would have liked to have seen a different type of wheel on this one. This is from their Power Trip series, but still really cool model. Really dig it. Happy to have it in my collection. Then, how I was telling you about the Racing Champions casting. Okay, I don't have any of the original JLs because I'm not a big fan of them. But here is the original Racing Champions when this was still Racing Champions back in the very early 2000s. See how I said they have the mirrors? That's what they did away with. They did away with the mirrors, but as you can see, it's the same chassis. Everything is identical. Um, so, same thing. Uh, same car, just kind of a little bit modded by JL. Like I said, they've done away with the fender mirror, or not fender mirrors, but they've done away with the mirrors. And uh, they should have maybe kept these wheels. These wheels are not bad by Racing Champions. They were a pretty good attempt. This has a tampo error on it. Um, but this is from their D.A.R.E. program, Grand National for Will and Burrow. Um, to keep kids off drugs, the D.A.R.E. program. So, pretty cool casting, pretty cool car. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, that's what Johnny Lightning did when they merged with RC2. They did away with the uh, mirrors. So, when you do get a new Racing Champions, Buick, Grey National, T-Type, and you open it up and you look at the base, it's still going to say Johnny Lightning. Here is one that I have from the newer releases. This is from 2017. So, as you can see, um, it's a nice car, and it does have the JL wheels, uh, but see on the bottom it still says Johnny Lightning. Wish I still had the package for this, because it was a Racing Champions package, but this is a really cool car, your Regal T-Type, and looks really, really good. Quick V6, pretty cool. Uh, so, really nice blue-on-blue -blue car. 
So this is one that I really dig and really happy that they brought these castings back of the G bodies like the Monty. They got the Aero Coupe out. They have the Coupe and then they have these Grand Nationals, T types, everything. So very nice to see these 80s muscle cars back out on the pegs. So hopefully I'll get back to the state soon and be able to snag up a few of them before they disappear again. Um, so, one next one on our agenda here in the parking lot. This is the T-Type. This is the best looking T-Type that I have found. This is a newer Miho release. I can't say newer. It's from 2016, 2017. Um... But this is a fantastic example of like how they did that two-tone paint, the black top, the black bottom, silver sides. They did this a lot. They did it with burgundy. They did it with blue, but it had that silver inserted sides, then in the gray interior. And then, as you can see on the plate, it says T-Type. Pretty cool. Uh, wheels are pretty nicely done, too. Pretty accurate. Um, for a T-Type or Grand National. Uh, so, yeah, I really, really dig this one. This is the best example of a T-Type in the two-tone paint with the right wheels and everything that I have seen. Uh, now, as I said, the blue one's nice. I mean, it's a really good representation of, like, a uh, T-Type when it didn't have the two-tone paint. But this is one of my favorites I have in my collection because of the wheel choice and everything. Looks fantastic. Um, and that's... Once again, Racing Champions, Johnny Lightning Casting. So next on the list, this came from a box set. This is your Hearst Oles, 84 Hearst Oles. And you guys have seen the beater before. Um, I don't know if I even have that out here at Easy Access. But anyways, this is like the restored version, as I showed you guys in the rest of uh, video. But this came from a box set back in the early 2000s. Very nicely done. The factory rally wheels, everything are spot on the hood. And even inside, I don't know if you guys can see down in there uh, on the video, but they even went through the trouble of making it look like it had the lightning rod shifters. I don't know if you could see it or not, but they did really good with representing this car. Uh, they have a black one, too. Um, they have the beater one. I know they've come out with some newer versions of it, but the wheels are not correct. They use, like, the wheels on the stock cutlass and such, which I'll show you. I got a newer stock cutlass. Uh, but this is the best representation of a Hearst Oles I've seen. A little bit small, but still very nicely done. Um, and as I said, this came in a box set. Uh... I don't know if it was a TRU exclusive or not, but very nice, nice piece. Then uh, Hot Wheels did their shot at it too. And this is the more common Hearst, I would say, the black with the silver bottom. But their paint job is a little bit off. As you can see, it's kind of angled to go with the stripes and the rocker panels just don't look right. That's the one thing I had against that paint job on this one. But great that the Hot Wheels made a casting of it. And did a nice job with all the details with horror stoles, tail lights, uh, but no headlights. So kind of slacked on that. This is from their Boulevard series back in 2012. Uh, so pretty cool casting. Um, that wasn't the first time it appeared, though. I believe the first time it appeared was the Hot Ones, which is this guy here, which this one looks a little more, um, I guess, realistic than the black one with the paint job. But as you can see, the stripes are still at an angle to kind of go with the cartoonish proportions with the wheel openings and stuff. But still, yeah, cool that Hot Wheels made this. And they made it in both, like, color combos. That's how they would have been. You have, like, I think 83 was black with silver bottom and 84 was silver with a black bottom, something like that. But, uh, or maybe both were, both paint schemes were offered both years. I'm not sure on the years with the paint jobs. But anyways, it's kind of cool that Hot Wheels made this. I wish I could see this again in their main line, maybe as a super treasure hunt. That would be great. Or bring back their Monte Carlo SS, which I don't have any Hot Wheels Monte SSs. But uh, bring one out as a super treasure hunt. That would be great. 
So, going on to another Cutlass. This is the newer uh, Johnny Lightning Winter with Round 2 release of the Cutlass. And looks pretty good with these rally rims. Back end sets up a little high. Looks like somebody put some air shocks on it and jacked it up a little bit. But still, very good representation of just a stock Olds Cutlass. Um, looks pretty good. So, this would be like your salon or saloon uh, with the bucket seats console car pretty nice uh so anyways that's the stock variant that i have of an olds cutlass and uh as i said the hearst olds that they came out with in 2016 2017 has these wheels now if you could get an older car and swap the wheels and i'm gonna do a video on that this weekend too the easiest wheel swap you guys will ever do in your life is with a JL. Guarantee it that you can wheel swap any real rider JL car within like three minutes. Hands down. The easiest wheel swap you will ever do in your life. But it has to be from one JL to the next. And I'll show you in an upcoming video how to do that. Um, in fact, I have one. I will show you here that I did. Now, this is the stock variant of this car. Came with these chrome, like, I don't know, they look like wire hubcaps. It almost looks like this would be a stock Regal, but it is a T-type. Uh, but with these wheels, it looks like wire spoke hubcaps, like it should have like white wall tires or something, and it should just be a stock Regal, which would be a good idea to find some thin white walls and put on this and make it look like a stock Regal. That would be a good one to have because I don't think there are any stock Regals by anyone except maybe Revell their lowriders but it's still a modded Regal with switches on it um so anyways this is a really cool car now what I did to one I took one of their old t-type castings the old style casting and I robbed the wheels off of it and then I put them on this. Same wheel, just these are gray painted and they look a little more like a turbine wheel from uh, a T-type. But still, if you get close, they look like a wire spoke hubcap. But that's the gray variant wheel versus the chrome variant wheel. Same car, uh, but these gray painted ones were on the old style casting and I robbed the wheels off of it and put on this one. Um, so, same car, just a little bit different look. It looks more like a T-type with the gray wheels than what the one with the chrome ones do. So, last Olds casting from JL. This is their Lowriders one, and you guys seen this in my Lowriders video. Not bad. The wheels are a little small, though. Even for 13-inch by 7 Dayton's, these are a little bit too small. They almost look like lawnmower wheels, like your ATV or riding lawnmower wheels or something is what this looks like. It doesn't look like a 13 or 14-inch rim. They're a little bit too small, but hey, nice attempt. Uh, cool car. like the purple. Um, like the uh, graphics on the side. So it does look like a lowrider. Um, so nice attempt by JL and nice piece to have in a G body uh, collection. Uh, so let's do one more JL Buick. This is the Miho that was released in counterpart with this one. These guys were released at the exact same time in 2016, 2017, something like that. Uh, this was their way to represent the GNX. Um, they just took those wheels and painted them black, so poorly done with the wheel attempt. But they did put a tampo on the fender to represent the fender gills, so they did make that attempt. But the wheel choice, they should have went with some kind of different wheel. They just painted those chrome wheels all black. But still, not a bad attempt for GNX. So trying to get a look at the plate here to see what that plate says because I have forgotten uh, 87 G and X. Okay, so pretty cool car. Uh, nicely done, but as I said, Hot Wheels I think beats them. As you can see, I really do prefer the Hot Wheels on top over the Johnny Lightning on the bottom. So that's my opinion. I just think the flares are better. The actual gills, instead of using a tampo, is better, in my opinion.
And now here is a white variant of that Buick from JL. This came in a TRU box set. Uh, this is one that had rubber bands on it, unfortunately, and it got the paint on mine, as you can see here, and on the fender. I uh, was able to save it before it got extremely bad, but still it was bad enough. Touched it up a little bit. We'll maybe make an attempt to fix it a little better. Uh, later on in life, but not right now. So this is your Regal T-Type, and this is Hot Wheels variant. Now, the Johnny Lightning one, I like their attempt better because it says T-Type, there's no gills, and Hot Wheels is trying to pass that as a G and X. And I guess it could be if you custom painted yours, but it's not a stock G and X. So this one I kind of dig a little more. Um... So, now let's bounce back to Monte Carlo for JL. This will be our last JL for the day. This is your Monte SS Aero Coupe. This is the first release of this car in chrome. Love this casting, love the chrome. Pretty cool looking car. It's like a mirror, as you can see. Uh, very, very nicely done piece. And it is... Very nice, and it looks really good setting next to my other chrome cars. One thing I don't know about this Monte Carlo SS chassis, I don't know if they fixed it or not, but as you can see, like this one's low on the side, it's high on the coupe. But if you flip it around, the driver's side on the coupe is low, whereas the driver's side on this one's high. I don't know if there's something wrong with the chassis on these or some kind of thing where the axle is that kind of... Uh, Persuades it to be off on one side or the other. I'm not sure. I will have to get a new one and check that out. But this is your Chrome Aero Coupe. Very nice piece. And very happy to have this one um, in my collection. Happy to have all these, actually, because I'm a huge G-Body fan. So, uh, next is another... Monty, but this one is from Green Light, and this is from their 1983. So, um, not too bad. It's uh, the wheels, I got a little excessive chrome in my wheels, so they don't look so accurate unless you go way, way back from the camera. Then you can start seeing the holes, and they're not too bad. But I do dig the blue because everybody's always doing black or white, so it's nice to see something a little different. Uh, you have a blue one here, so it looks good. Nice from green light. Blue on blue. And as I said, it's nice to see something different than your typical black and uh, white ones all the time. So, now we're going to go on to the oddball companies that you don't really see often, and they don't get a lot of respect, and I don't know why. The one does. It's a Jada. This is my favorite Jada, but it does have cartoonish proportions. As I've always said, it's Jada-fied or Jada scale with these big, big, thick bumpers and the ridiculous tail pipes and things like that. And it's pretty close to being 164. I know usually Jadas are way, way big, but this one isn't. It's pretty close, and it's pretty much pretty accurate. It fits in the diorama well with the other G-bodies. It just looks a little thick, though, like the proportions of the door, like uh, the height of the body side looks a little bit thick compared to like the JL, as you can see. But the overall wheelbase and length of the car is good. Even the width of the car is good. It's just the girth, I guess I would call it, of the car is a little bit off. But still a nice one. Used to have some other variants of the Regal from uh, Jada, but have since gotten rid of them and just held on to the GN variant. like the wheel choice on this with the chrome lip and the black five-spoke center. It looks really cool. So, uh, that is your cartoonish Jada variant of the GN. So, next is a couple of Maestos. And these are cars that I think are way, way underestimated. Because they did a hell of a job with these. Um, 
the Monty SS. This one's in candy purple with these chrome five spokes. They look like the bigger IROC wheels that you can order, like the 17 inch or 18 inch IROC Z wheels. The candy purple paint. And then they have like a really nicely detailed two tone interior with a detailed chrome steering wheel. And it's all metal, metal base, metal body, screwed together so you can wheel swap and base swap, do whatever you want. So they did a really, really nice job on these. And that's why I don't know why they're not more sought after than what they are. Um, so very nicely done by Maisto. And I do have their white variant of the car too. So this is my white Monty SS. And once again, they did a great job. And then they got this black and gray two-tone interior. Chrome steering wheel, metal and metal, once again, screwed together, rubber tires, everything. I don't know why these were not more desirable. Headlight tampos, tail light tampos, very nicely detailed. And even like, I know the track looks a little bit narrow, and it is because it has these fat tires, but really the width of the car is pretty much the same as the JL. So these are, like, from the side, they look the same. So I'm not sure what... I At least here, they're not... Maisto is not really popular. I don't think they are in the States either. Not like Hot Wheels or JL or anything like that. Uh, so last but not least is another Regal. This is my only T-top T-type. So this is from Maystone. Now this one is exaggerated. This one does look a little bit strange. I don't know if this was like borrowed from, where is the Jada one? Here it is. I don't know if they borrowed the casting from Jada and modified it, but that's kind of what it reminded me of. The really thick body proportions and thick bumpers. So it does look a little ridiculous, but their Monte Carlo, on the other hand, is really, really cool. The reason I hunt onto this one, though, it's my T-top uh, one. The only T-top Regal that I know of is by Maisto. But as I said, the body proportions, the girth, the thickness of the body is a little bit off but still cool nice piece uh so that's the last one for today and once again they're nice detailed interior chrome steering wheels so yeah maisto is underrated in my opinion uh but there you go guys a ton of g bodies for you i think we brought out like 25 something like that uh anyways that's what we have for you today and then on Monday, we will be back with a green light unboxing. We're going to be doing a few pieces. Um, not sure exactly what direction we're going. If it's going to be JDM or Muscle, it's going to be one or the other. And then the following week will be the other one. But uh, anyways, tune back in on Monday for that. If you have not subscribed yet, please remember to do so. Please give me a thumbs up. Share the video, tell your friends about my channel, and I do appreciate all of you guys watching. Thank you, and have a great weekend.